It's interesting. We went out with a very specific question to determine whether or not Southern residents can get enough fish to eat. And yet, with these images we caught, we saw more things than what we ever expected. I think the most striking thing was to see just how tactile the animals were. They're constantly touching each other um, and staying in touch. And we saw them essentially using this drone like a, a fly on the wall, looking down at them in a way that we haven't truly appreciated, I think, in the past. So for certain, a, a new perspective to, to watch them. What struck you the most? The very first evening, we left essentially downtown Vancouver, sailed out around the University of British Columbia, and encountered the southern residents who had not been around here for over two months. Um, and so we were seeing signs of fish being present, which was our central question. But we also got to observe uh, the animals interacting with each other in, in very social ways. Uh, one of the interesting things was to see um, a mother with her newborn calf. We had two new calves born this year, and this calf was to the J-pod. And I was really struck to see that this young female, only three months old, she drinks milk, but she was carrying a fish in her mouth. And it just struck me, and it gets all of us on board uh, the research crews asking why. Is she teething or does she just want to be like mom? Something you wouldn't necessarily see from the water. Yeah, and, and when we're on the water, and I've seen whales on the water going back to the 1980s, and certainly taking images and pictures with cameras, but we see them on this flat plain. And from up above, where we can look deep into the water, uh, we do see the same thing we see from a boat, so up to breathe, but once underwater, there's twisting and turning and rubbing. And it gets us thinking about how even us as humans, uh, we like to touch each other. We hug our kids. We hug our husbands or wives, uh, hug our friends. And, and it maintains social bonds. And to see this also occurring among the whales, um, I found uh, quite remarkable. And I know you're still looking at these images and, and working on the data. When might we see some results? Um, we're still processing. We collected a lot of images because in addition to watching the behavior of the whales, we were also taking images uh, and seeing below the water uh, to look at where the fish were, the depths, the numbers. And so we need to put all these data sets together and we're hoping to have some preliminary results to discuss and bring forward in the springtime. Well, we will certainly look forward to that. Andrew Trites from UBC, thanks for speaking with us. Thank you.